While this may look like garden paradise on the hottest day of the year, for hay fever sufferers, it's far from heavenly. Here at Breezy Knees in York and across the region, pollen levels are at their very highest. And as this Met Office pollen map shows, it's the same across the whole of England and Wales. This year in particular, it's hit me really, really bad, but it's most definitely mornings and evenings that are the worst. A hay fever sufferer all her life, Nicola Gillam says on bad days, it's debilitating. This time of year in particular, really tight chest, lots of wheezing, and then not, not to mention my nose streaming, lots of sneezing, my eyes really puff up, uh, and uh, constantly weeping and itching. It tends to come on quite bad at night, um, and it's, it's quite scary sometimes. Across the UK, 37% of us suffer from hay fever, with many reporting their symptoms to be worse this year. The Met Office says a warm, wet spring, plus a tree pollen season that started earlier and is lasting longer, means there's much more pollen in the air. There's more bad news for sufferers this weekend. The forecast thunderstorms are likely to make symptoms worse. So with a thunderstorm, we've got kind of areas of high winds, and they draw high levels of pollen particles from the ground up into the air. And then we've got the rain then, and normally the rain would wash the pollen away. But what it does with the thunderstorm is the, the rain and the wind together, they um, break the pollen down into finer particles. So not only does it this affect people with hay fever, but people with asthma. And while it may not be the advice you want to hear on a beautiful day like today, Allergy experts advise the safest place for hay fever and asthma sufferers is indoors with the windows shut. Catherine Jacob, 5 News, North Yorkshire.